In this video, I'm going to be showing how to create a connecting rod in Autodesk Inventor using mostly extrude and mirrors command. Let's get started. First, we want to go up to new, parts, sketch, select XY, select circle, hover over the yellow dot until it turns green. We're going to be drawing four circle. Um, approximately about one inch so just click draw draw a little bit further from the line here you want to draw another one about one inch now we're going to be dimensioning them this one is going to be 1.25 the inside one will be one inch and the outside for this one will be 2.5 inside will be 2 inch. Once we establish that we want to do a constraint so select that from the inside circle there. What we want is 6.5. Now we're going to draw a line to cut the, this circle in half. So yes, you see the yellow dot there just click there and click another one that's yellow dot there. Bring it all the way down straight so you kind of hit there and click it, click. Now we're going to trim, exit, zoom out a little bit, choose the extrude button, highlight it. From here, we want to choose symmetric. What we're doing is one inch, so that's what we're going to use, one inch. Now we're going to go back to a new sketch, go down to origin, choose XY. From here you want to highlight that there, hold down the shift, select it, and go over here, select this one here, while still holding down the shift of course, and let it go. Now, you, now we want to choose project geometry for this one. So we created something there. We want to go to line. Zoom in a little bit over here. And as you could see that little green dot here. Select that. Bring it over a little bit. Type in 0.75. Enter. Escape. Now you want to just draw a line directly from on top of the other uh, imaginary line there. Just draw it there. We want to draw a construction line underneath here, so let's just do construction line from that dot there. Bring it all the way to the other yellow dot. Escape. Now we just want to constrain this to line here. Type in 0.375, enter. Now we want to draw a 4 inch circle, so let's do that 4 inch circle change this to construction line to a solid line. Once we do that we want to use a coincident constraint on them from here to here. And then we're going to use the tangent from here to here. Now we're going to trim off what we don't need which is that and here. Now hold down the shift left mouse click click and click make sure that all three of them turns blue what we're gonna do now is gonna be doing a mirror so select the mirror click on the mirror line button here select the construction line click apply say done once we do this, we just want to extend the line all the way to the yellow line here. Extend, extend, escape, and say OK. Now click on the extrude button. As you could see it here, we want to highlight there, just like that. Let's change that to symmetry. Type in 0.5, enter. 
Now once we're in this spot here, you want to highlight one here. Sketch. Zoom in a little bit. Select the circle. As you can see, that yellow dot here, you want to bring it all the way up. Click anywhere here, expand it, and we want 0.25 for it. Now we're going to do a constraint line on that circle. So choose the circle and choose the line on the bottom there. And we want 0.25 for this. We're going to draw another circle. So select circle, pick the center. This time we're going to draw a 0.5. Zoom in a little bit just to be able to see. Select line. From there, hover over to the big circle. And as you can see, that yellow dot there. Select that yellow dot. Bring it down to the yellow line there. Same thing on the other side. Escape. Now we got all this. Now we're going to trim off the unnecessary one, which is this one and this one. And click OK. Once we get that, we go back to the extrude button. Highlight that part that we just uh, sketch out. Since it's an opposite side, we're just going to be doing the uh, direction 2 here. We want to type in 0.5 for it and click OK. Now we're going to want to mirror this part here to put it underneath here because um, we're missing that part. We go to the mirror command, select the feature. Go back up here and click on the mirror plane. Select X, Z plane. As you can see, it shows a preview a little bit here. And we'll click OK. Now we're going to draw the here. Sketch. We're just going to draw a circle right close to the line there. So just make a circle somewhere, 0.5. Make another circle, 0.5. Go up to the dimension, select this line here, and select this circle here. We want 2 inch on this. From this, we want to select this circle and select the other circle. And we want 3 inch for this. We want to draw a line from here to here. So line so it turns yellow. Same thing with here, 0. Okay, and draw another line on the bottom. And we're going to trim the unnecessary one here. So let's do that. Trim, trim. Say OK. Now we go back to the extrude. Um, this one, highlight there. We want to change this to cut. We want this to be 0.125. Say OK. Now we're going to mirror it to put it on this side here. So let's do that. First, you want to pick mirror, select the feature, go over here and click on mirror plane, select XY, say it OK. We're getting pretty close to being done here. So we're going to add a little radius here on here. So we're going to go to the fillet, select the line there and there and what we want on this is 0.5 say OK uh, once we finish with this we're just gonna add a little bit of a uh, metal material on this so we're gonna do carbon steel let's see here it is carbon steel and let's change the view a little bit to uh, realistic so here's what we got I mean, it's pretty much um, close to being done. A little more work to it. But it looks pretty good, I would say.